Totally. And if, if you haven't seen it, try to catch it on HBO. Um, okay. Also fighting on Saturday, uh, April 9th, Adamic, Thomas Adamic versus <laughs> Kevin McBride. <laughs> Uh, okay, next. <laughs> well, you know, Adamic just needs a tune-up. Right. Fight. It's just to stay busy. Fight. I guarantee you it's going to sell at the Prudential Center. A gal right. You know, Adamic can fight my grocer, and he'll still sell at the Prudential right. Center. All, all of his Polish fans. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, and then also on the card, interesting, Sergei Lykovich, uh, the White Wolf. And the last time I saw this guy fight really well was against Lehman Brewster uh, when he knocked him out. And then he got knocked out by, um, what's his Shannon name? Briggs. Shannon Briggs. Uh, so that's that's a local fight. Well, you know what? I, I forgot to mention that Lyakovich looks like he's going to be fighting Vitaly Klitschko, possibly. Cool. Hey, well, <laughs> it's the heavyweight division. Right, right. And, and, and I'm just saying that. I mean, because he used to have some, but he's one of the smaller heavyweights. So yeah, he's, uh, yeah. He's washed up too. Huh? And right. just, yeah, whatever. Uh, <laughs> the night before, we have David Lemieux fighting Marco Antonio Rubio on ESPN2. I'm not sure if that's an interesting fight, but David Lemieux is an interesting fighter. Oh, very much so. Exciting, exciting middleweight. Mm -hmm. Up there with Kirkland in terms of excited one-punch power. Right. And I think he destroys Rubio. Uh-huh. And right. then he becomes the mandatory challenger of the Sebastian Zebek, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. fight right. coming up in June. So he's, he's another middleweight to watch. He is, very much so. Okay. And then on Saturday, April 16th, we've got Amir Khan back in action versus Paul McCloskey. Uh, uh, and then we also have Andre Berto versus Victor Ortiz. What's your pick for that fight? Berto. Victor Ortiz has been running his mouth a lot. I know he's saying everyone thinks I don't have anything. Da, da, da. You know, I don't want to hear it. Berto is bigger, stronger, more fluid. Ortiz still is caught between styles. Berto wins. Okay. And uh, now in Showtime, we have Juan Manuel Lopez versus Orlando Salido. What's your pick for that fight? You know, I'm going to be out. I'm going to be honest with this one. I think Salido gives him hell. A lot more, you know, more uh, tough fight than he did with Gamboa. But Lopez should win the fight. Mm. And then also, I just want to bring up on this, the 17th on Sunday, April 17th, we got Chris John back in action finally versus uh, former opponent of Robert Guerrero, uh, uh, Daoud Yodan. Uh, it's a big fight in Indonesia, right? huge fight. Mm -hmm. And Yod Yodan is a, uh, was an interesting fight because the fight got stopped early versus Guerrero. But I thought he was doing very well. He did, he was, he doing, did. Very he was well. doing very well, but and then he got completely pummeled by Celestino Caballero. He did. So I want to see how he reacts to that. John should win, but it's a big fight in Indonesia. Okay. Now, the big fight, Manny Pacquiao versus May versus uh, not Mayweather. Who am I talking about? Shane Mosley. Shane Mosley, May seventh. It's going to be on Showtime pay per view. Now that's the biggest event in boxing. Aris, what's the biggest fight to look forward to in boxing right now? It's tough to say. You know, there's a lot of great fights that can still be made. You know, Klitschko Hay is there. They're still saying that's the number two fight between besides Pacquiao Mayweather that kid me made. Right, so... And that looks like that's going to be made. So, we're, you know, boxing's going to move on from Pacquiao Mayweather. Just remember that. Boxing's going to move on from Pacquiao Mayweather. So... All right. Yeah, and uh, 